Welcome to another town of tiny workshops. The history of Prescott's clock and watchmaking. Uh, we're up to episode five, and um, yeah, I'm with um, Philip Irvine, who you may remember from the, the last uh, episode I did. Uh, he, he's um, working on the time ball, but also Philip is um comes here every week to saint mary's church to wind up prescott's most famous clock which is <laughs> it's up the tower and i don't mean blackpool tower it's up this tower in prescott which everybody knows saint mary's clock back in the day you could set your watch to saint mary's clock um, as a timepiece it's the it's the most iconic uh, timepiece uh, that you that I know and um, I certainly remember it as a child because it would ring out um, a chime of bells and uh, I've got a recording of that chime of bells which I'll pull over this video now and it's a beautiful sound um, and so uh, it doesn't do that anymore um, but it's still working and uh, it's only down to people like Philip who maintain it and wind it up every week and he's kindly invited me to go up the tower to um, uh, to see what he does basically and to have a look up there and it's really exciting for me as a Prescotian to go up there because I've never been up there and I think many of you have never been up there so I've got my um, I'm gonna swap my hat for some uh, a, a camera head mount I'm going to put the camera on the head mount and we can go hands free so I can deal with any steps and ladders and whatever's up there and um, it'll be an interesting trip for you to follow us so um, yeah come in and we'll we'll have a look <laughs> yeah inside see you in a minute that's the porch this is the porch before we go up the tower and this is the door yeah that leads to the tower, or the clock, I should say. So, oh, it's much brighter than I expected. Oh, well, this is only the bottom one off this. Right. Yeah, it's the bottom one, son. Yeah, that's it. This is the rope that you can hang on to. Okay. Now, I usually have to have a rest halfway up. Right. How many steps are there here? I don't know. <laughs> Seven counts, you you know. Yeah. This is the ringing chamber, but it's kept locked. Right. So I can't get in there. So that's where the bells are, is it? Yeah, no. No. That's where oh, that's where the bell ringers. That's where the bell rings. Yes. I see. This is a real medieval <laughs> stairway. Right. I have to switch the top lights on for here. Right. There we go. Okay. 
Are there any bats in here? No, no, there's no wildlife in here at all. Oh. Yeah, these I always imagined them to be bats in here. Yeah, these marks that you see on the stone are likes of those. They're, yeah. They're mason's marks then. Ah. Every mason had his own mark. Yeah. And he would put it on the stone so they know who did it. Fascinating. Yeah. So I saw one with a shit on that further down. Oh, I, I don't know how that uh, come about. No. Well, this is about halfway up, this. Right. I usually have a bit of a rest. Have a bit of a rest. Right, now this, this is where the bells are. This is the belfry. Right. And again, that's kept locked. I only have access to the clock, you see. I see, yes. Mm. It's totally fascinating. This is the original belfry. Wow, yeah. Which they decided to preserve when they put the new bells in. Oh, right. And that was the reason for moving the clock to the top of the tower. Because there was no room once they lowered the bell frame, you see. These are like Tudor beams, aren't they? This is the oh, wooden it's, pegs. They're oak, okay. it's oak. It's, I mean, it's 18th century, I think. Yeah. Maybe even older. Yeah. But that's where the bells were originally. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I just need to, yeah, check that it's recording. <laughs> The yeah, worst, it yeah, it's the worst thing is you put a thing on and, you, and it's not recording. I'm just making sure, yeah, the red light's on, so I'm all right. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah. So this is this is the bit where you you've got the slats going down there, obviously. The users, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this was restored in 1992, I think, was it? Yeah. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. They put this, the floor and board. That would be interesting, that one. And yeah. The clock is above that floor, and I'll explain to you right. about it when we get up there. Yeah. Can we go up here? No. no but you can go up there if you want. You know, but mind how you go. I'll just have a, yeah. a quick look. Mm. It's not going to. No, it's not going to. No. You can okay. stand on that bit of floor, do you? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah. Well, there's a bell there. Yeah, that's a service bell. Service bell? Yeah, what he rings a service, you know, the toll it. Wow. Mm. Tone it? What? Toll it, you know. Oh, to oh, I see. Yeah. And if you look down, it's really, you can see the, the bell. You, there's, there's, oh. there's a light there, but you can't switch it on to yes. get in the place. Yes, you know? it's locked, isn't it? But you, you can see. Yeah. Where the bells are hung and everything. I mean, this is a real ancient bit of woodwork, this. This is a piece of Prescott history, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's really, to, to touch these timbers is uh, mm -hmm. touching the past, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's astonishing. What's this? Mm -hmm. And these, this was part of the, the chiming mechanism. Mm-hmm. You know, and we couldn't fit this with where the clock is now, you see. Right. You know, because everything was designed to pull down. Right. And the clock is above all the bells now to go, it's got to pull up, so they couldn't do it. Right. Well, he could have done it, but it would have been an expensive operation that yeah. Day, you know. Yeah, yeah. So he, he decided to do away with it, and he got uh, a solenoid ringer. On, on a electric clock, right? And as it the hour comes, the, the solenoids will bang the bell for the number of hours, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. You know. It's amazing. And these are slate. The, I think they are slate, yeah. But the old louvers are up again when we go up. These are all newbies. Yeah. 
Mm. I always imagined these moving for some reason, like a Venetian blind, but they oh, don't, they're, they're, they're totally they fixed. They stay like that, you know, they don't. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they'll have to be maintained because they're in a wooden frame. Yeah. And they'll get all the weather. Yeah, I think they would, wouldn't they? Yeah. These marks in the sandstone here. Mm. That's where the original roofs have been. Yeah, the old ones, yeah. 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 And it's been rebuilt here. Yeah, you can see them right up that edge. Yeah, you can see them there as well. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, not everybody gets up here. Even members of the church have never been up here. Really? Oh, wow, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, you get a few who never get up the stairs, you know. Mm. You don't even know what's up here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't think many Prescotians know what's up here, to be honest. No, they don't. This is a real treat. So you're blog will reveal everything you know? i know it's just um it's almost like people are here with us now mm -hmm. aren't they the, the uh yeah the viewers are with us now yeah and you can see where this frame's been been repaired over the years and patched up and yeah pieces spliced into it you know mm -hmm. yeah. how many bells were in here Does, yeah. was it a, Two, si three four five six seven eight the other thing of eight eight bells yeah yeah, and it's not a peal of bells, is it? It's a, a, a peal. Ring, it's a ring. a ring of bells. We're there would have been a bell here where we're standing, you see. Yes. Oh, um, yes, there's a big brackets. space in the middle. That would have been the biggest bell, the tenor bell. Yes. And then the others would go down, you see. That would right. have been the treble. Yeah. This would be the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. So these are the bells that would give that peal of bells the sound that I played that you that you hear ringing you yeah when you ring for weddings yeah and stuff like that. that that's what you, you yeah know, yeah it. yeah and the clock would have chimed on there yeah but it was only what they called a ting tang it wasn't a westminster mm. and all it would have done quarter past of the hour it would have gone ding dong mm. half past mm. ding dong mm. ding dong mm. Mm. up to the quarter to ding dong ding dong mm. ding dong and then it would strike the hour wow yeah it's amazing yeah and, th and there's a lot of information on the clock as well um, if you can pick it up mm. you know brass plates with, with names of people the church wardens and mm. and everything you mm. know mm. yeah it is fantastic yeah yeah mm. so that the the, the the church clock now is on this floor, is it? No, no. Above? no, it's up again. It's up again? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The dials are on this next floor, the backs of the dials. I'll explain it all to you. Yes. With the problems they have when you move the clocks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right now, this is the dial room. This, and this, this is the back of the clock faces. Oh, yes, on that one. These are the new cast iron dials that were done in '92, or whatever it was. And, uh, this had the big old beams went across this, mm. and this was in the middle. And when they did all this work, they put these things in which is a very poor job really mm, it's just yeah. two by one isn't it one by yeah it's, two it's by one. rubbish it's, uh, yeah and the way it works is like a temporary structure that's the drive coming down yeah from the clock drives that bevel there which comes out to this and this bevel then drives that dive that one and that one that's no I, I didn't realize that there were Faces on all four sides. Yeah, four faces, yeah. yeah. Oh, faces on all four. I 
thought yeah. one was blank for some reason, no, but it's is. not, is it? It's all four sides. Four sides, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Can I go under here and... Yeah. Look at this. This is... Yeah, that's what drives, drives the hand here. This rod here. This one. Yes. There. Drives that. Now that's the minis hand. Right? Yes. Now that goes down once in an hour. Right. And this is the hour hand, which is driven off the pinion on there. And that goes down once in 12 hours, you see. Yes. Right. Well, yeah, I do, I do. 12 to 1. Yes, yes. And that's how it, uh, how it works. Wow. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. And this isn't the clock, is it? I mean, that, like you were saying in the last one, yes. this is the mechanism, th this is the mechanism that is, is the face. Drives the faces. Face it? of the clock, but the actual clock and that there, is up there. That is the pendulum cupboard. Yeah. That, the pendulum swings oh. in that case. And it goes right up. It's a two second pendulum. Hmm. It means it's 13 foot long. And it's a rhomboid pendulum. For compensation, and wow. I'll explain that to you when, yeah. when we get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm really impressed with is these stones. Yeah, that well, are originally cut. they had slate dials, you know, slate dials, slate so, dials, yeah, and they were made in quarter sections. Right. And they became unsafe, and I took them down, you know. Mm. And uh, then a year or two passed, and we started this work. And these dials, I was down to supply new dials, but somebody in the BIC, uh, he worked for them, he was in the church, and they organised it through the BIC, mm. so it reduced the cost of what I don't know how he did it. Mm. I, I didn't do them, you know. Mm. Not that I was bothered, like, you know, because I had more than enough to do. Mm. I was really working full time then, you know. Yeah. yeah. So this ladder here is to service the pendulum. That's to get up to the pendulum. Well, that, that universal there, uh, really, there's only the bob inside that. Mm. You know, just swinging backwards and forwards. The bob is yeah. like the thing at the bottom of the yeah. pendulum that yeah, is like a weight. Weight, yeah. Weight, yeah. yeah. And these ladders, they were left up here when we did the building work and we couldn't get them down, so they've just been left here. What, these? These two ladders here. Oh, right. Yeah. Couldn't get them down the stairs? Yeah, and he for the spiral. He never took them when they were left here. Ah, right. This is the other plan I was saying about, you know. Yeah. That's a sturdy ladder, isn't it? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a bit of stuff. And that goes up, up to the clock. Yeah. You know. And it, okay. Right. Yeah. Now you're inside the spire now. Oh! Something people have never seen, you know. And you fit in. Oh new, my god! You fit in new weavers there, some of the old weavers there. You know, this was all scaffolded inside here. What, these are the old slates? That's one of them, yeah. 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 Which have replaced, these have replaced it. Yeah. Yeah. And we replaced the wall, that's just one that got left behind, you know. You can see why well, it's I very never, tough. I never, in all my life, 
never seen anything like that. No. Wow. That is spectacular. Yeah. And here's the clock. The beating heart yeah. of Prescott Church. I'm just going to take this off. Let's have a look at this. Yeah. Now, this is the wheel which was broken when I, I took over looking after the clock and I, I made that new wheel, you know. So you've made, made this wheel? I've made, I made that wheel, yeah, to yeah. get the clock working again. Right. Just stop it to think it's the easiest way to slow it down. Yeah, okay. That's it. Now this is the rhomboid pendulum. And the way it works is it comes down like that, then like that, then there's a bump at the bottom. And the bit that goes across, which in this case is, is, is copper, which has been replaced, but it's normally brass. And in the warm weather, the brass will expand. And with the shape of that, it shortens the pendulum. So the clock will keep time. Well, that's the theory anyway. Nice. You know, whether it works, I, I've never really put it to the test, <laughs> you know. And this was made by William Lee. There, Let's William see. Lee, Newton. Uh, December 22nd. 1806. 1806, yeah. And what is this for, this clock? That's the setting dial. Right. That should correspond with the time on the dials outside. I see, yes. So that when you want to set the clock, you've got, you know what the time is. Yes. You know. And these are, you've covered it up there, but these are the church wardens mm. for 1805 and 1806. And this fellow, Wharton, see, 1883, quarter chimes put on by G. Wharton, Coventry. And it says, um, restored by Thomas Condliffe of Liverpool, 1900. 1900. Yeah. He was a very famous maker of the combiffs based mm. in Liverpool, you know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And this, this would have chimed the hours mm. on this side, mm. and this one would have chimed the quarters, mm. you see. And of course, they're defunct now. You know, it's only the, the clock bit that's. Uh, it's operational. So when you hear the bells at Prescott? When you when, when they hear the, the, the bells, that's the bell ring is ringing them, but when it's a single blow, it's the extra thing striking the hour. Oh, I see. It just strikes one, it doesn't do the quarters anymore. Right, right. You know. Right. Yeah. And this, um, what you'd normally do, you lift that up like that, and while you're winding it, that keeps the clock going. So the clock doesn't lose while you're winding it, you see. Right. It's called the maintaining right. power. You know. Yeah. And how do you wind it? Do you put something in here? Or? Oh, no, it no. goes up here. Oh, it goes there? Yeah, yeah. So that winds it up? Yeah, I'll just take this off. There we go. And we have to put a winding jack on. It's too heavy to wind up. So, this goes on. Mm -hmm. That goes on like that. And then this is the handle, which goes on there. Just 
shake my coat off if we get out. And away we go. And as I say, I do come every week and do this, so you have to be dedicated. You know. I think you do. And uh, you come from Southport, don't you, Phil? Come from Southport, yeah. Uh, every week, every week to yeah. wind the clock up. Wind the clock up. And I do mm. Sefton Church as well on, on my way up. Right. Depending how I feel, because Sefton's not as heavy as this, I might do this first and go to Sefton on the way back. Right. You know. So where do you go? Used to be now. No, it's time catches up. Yeah. yeah. See now we're showing the right time now on that, but I'll, I'll wait till I'll finish winding and then I'll show you how you run the clock on. Right. You know, and that I'll explain how the teeth get damaged, you see. You know. Mm. <sighs> And the chap who used to wind it, this clock, he passed away and they couldn't get anyone else to do it. I see. You know? Yeah. Because I mean, it's, you know, you have to come every week. Yeah. So you have to be dedicated. You get high days and holidays, yeah. Christmas Day, bank holidays, yeah. you know. But people don't realise that. No. No. You, know? you don't think about how it's wound up or. No. Um, how it works or anything you yeah. I mean you because we're all digital I mean, you, these you're, days you're probably one of the few people from Prescott that have seen all this machinery I'm certainly I'm quite sure mm -hmm. that I am I feel really privileged to be yeah. to be here basically yeah and it's a, a, an amazing opportunity to show everybody else as well and, and yeah. Make, yeah. Uh, it, it just increases that appreciation oh, of the sure, uh, yeah. Of the mechanics of it all, the physicality. When I'm no longer here, you'll have an electric wine fitted to it, you know. You think that's the way it's going to go? Oh, we haven't got. Yeah, when they had the tower all rewired, there's a switch just there for the auto wine to be wired into, you know. Right. So that's the way it'll go, you know. So no, that's the way it'll go. Yeah. But me, when it's uh, also wine, you'll still need someone to come up and maintain it and check the rate and, and everything, you know. Yeah. Someone with a bit of knowledge of um oh, well, clock you'll have to, you'll have to keeping. understand the clock and everything, you mm. know. Yeah. Yeah.
Get me the fuck now. Mark there. Paint on the cable. Right, that's on the sheet. At the top. Right. Yeah. I mean, second clock is not as heavy as this to wind. Mm. So it doesn't need one of these, you see. Right. But when you're doing this, it will show people what's involved in actually winding the clock, you see. Of course. And I'm just thinking these would have had um, um, wires on them as yeah, well. Yeah, would so have had cable They would like have wind, yeah. wind these up as well. And they would have had to wind all three, you see. Right. You know. Yeah. I mean, it takes me 20 minutes, that includes getting upstairs and downstairs to yeah. To wind it up, you see. Yeah. And and how many times I stop for the rest, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now what you do is you push this forward like that, see? Yeah. Now that disengages this wheel. Right. And it will run round like that, you see. Yeah. And what you have to do is stop it again to let that engage. Right. And what he did, he just let this go and let why this was whizzing round. And it broke all the teeth, you know. Oh, yeah. Put a couple of minutes fast. There we are. Put that back. So you can reset the time on that as well. And then start it off. Start the pendulum. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. Need enough rice. And what's the time? It's just sorry. coming up to quarter to eleven. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so William Lee. Yeah. From Newton Lee Willows. Yeah. Was Newton well known for clock making? Was it uh, was, was that a, a loan company? He, he, a loan? Probably, he was just based there. He was just based there, yeah. 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 And he made grandfather clocks as well. Yeah. You know, but as I say, he also did um, turret clocks. Turret clocks. Yeah. That's a serious piece of machinery, isn't it? Oh hi, yeah, yeah. Fabulous. It is. And then and these are wooden drums. They're wood, yeah. Yeah, they were always made of wood. And in, and later, into the 19th century, they, they started making art of iron. You know, roll sheet iron. Yeah. You know. Mm. And that's it, done for another week. Brilliant. And I'll come back next week and do it all over again. Fantastic. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, got me breath back now and um, <laughs> it's been um, <laughs> we're back on terra firma yeah. outside the church it's a lovely sunny day yeah. um, I really enjoyed that Phil oh, good, and I hope good. the viewers will will now appreciate what's involved yeah. Yeah. in uh, maintaining St Mary's clock yeah. a lot of us have grown up with that clock and we've never had the opportunity to have a look inside the, the spire yeah. and the tower and, yeah. and, and see exactly how you get up there and what's involved. 
I imagined kind of lots of bats and pigeons and stuff like that, but it's nothing like that actually. But when you get inside and you look up at the spire there, it, it, it takes your breath away. It really does. It's a fantastic thing. And to see the beating heart of Prescott clock, which I remember as a child, ringing out that peal of bells, which is just beautiful it was beautiful i'd love to hear that again actually for, for yeah. uh, prescott clock I, I don't know whether we ever will though uh but to see it mechanically being wound as it has done for generations it's been done for generations mm -hmm. hasn't it oh, I, yes, and you're the, it new. yes yeah. uh, absolutely i'm the latest one so <laughs> yes it's, it, that touch with history yeah. and it will be a sad day when it when and if well, it's probably inevitable that it will become automated yeah. uh, automated ringing um, winding mechanism mm. so you won't get that opportunity again no. to um, to go up yeah. the tower yeah it would be a sad day to see that happen but for today is not the day no. <laughs> so thanks Phil I yeah, really welcome. enjoyed the um, yeah, yeah. the the, um, yeah. the invite yeah. and uh, I think you do a great job grand yeah. job it's um, oh, I it's such an insight to Presco yeah. shoes. So thanks for watching. Uh, I, uh, if you've enjoyed the video, then uh, please uh, give us the thumbs up, um, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment below. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you thought about the the, the St Mary's clock. Um, I was going to give it a name. I was going to call it Big Bertha, but having a look at the clock, it's not that big really. <laughs> yeah. The tower's big and the peal of bells, uh, the, the, not the peal of bells, it's yeah. not a peal of bells. It's the, the, pe the bells are big. Mm. We didn't actually get to see the bells mm. today, but uh, the, the entire mechanism sp spreads over an area that I didn't expect. Yeah. The, them four knock connecting rods to each face, I didn't expect to see that. No. Didn't expect, I, I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect to see that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, you'll, we'll see you in the next episode of uh, Prescott, a town of tiny workshops. Thanks for watching. Bye. Very historical. <laughs>